Hi Cancer, this is your weekly general reading for the 20th to the 26th of June and if you're new to this channel, welcome and everybody else, thanks for visiting and thank you for being with me. So Cancer, the sun enters you, your sign on the 21st. So, happy birthday in advance to my Cancerians. So let's see what this birthday season brings for you. Feeling tired, feeling exhausted right now? I don't think next week you're going to be full of energy. And Mercury is going retrograde, guys. I just remembered Mercury is going retrograde on Friday. So don't start any new thing. And it's going to go for four months till Mercury goes direct in September. Okay? So again, yeah, the Mercury retrograde season is back. Mm -hmm. But don't panic. There are ways. So, Cancer, what do we have for you? Oh, shit. Okay, matured woman. Dealing with a feminine figure. In your family, a mother, aunt, grandma, or it could be, you know, you. You could be maturing, or it could be about your maturity. And if you're a guy, or male or female, irrespective, I think this is to do with some matured feminine figure in your life, okay? What are you concerned with? A mother, mother's health? Or maybe an elder sister, an aunt, or your mother-in-law. Interference from your boo's mother could be. So let's see what Tarot has to say. Show me. All right, let's see. Okay. I've been going through a very lean period the past few days, I feel. All right. This is what you need to do. Okay. Okay. Focus. I see. Beautiful, Cancer. Simply beautiful. I'm loving your energy here. All right, Cancer. It's about, I feel it's about you maturing. Okay? It's, it's about you maturing. And it's about that inner maturity. It's about... You have, you're restarting a cycle again, okay? And what I see is that there are certain past failures. Maybe you failed in relationships. Maybe you failed in work. But it was futile. Maybe you didn't have patience. You did not have patience. So, you know, this, this is the Seven of Pentacles. This means... You need to hold on. Okay? Don't don't think of this as a failure yet. You haven't seen what this plant is going to bring or what this plant is going to mature into. So, do not write it off so soon. Look at what is what you need to do. The fact is that, yes, Cancer, you have gone through some failures in your Last year, I feel this is to do with your last year. That has made you matured a lot. You've matured a lot, okay? Or you're still maturing. And uh, what I feel is that, uh, you know, you need to, the fact is that cancer, you need to start thinking otherwise. I mean, you need to have a plan B. You need to start working on a plan B. You need to start focusing on 
things that are serving you in your life, you need to focus on your career. And what is an illusion is the king of cups. This love is your illusion. Maybe you've been too much, you know, focusing too much on your emotional turmoils. You've been focusing too much on your emotional well-being, your happiness, your love of your life. Uh, for some cancer, cancer male, you could be focusing, it could be to do with uh, your mother or even your spouse. Uh, you know, at home, maybe you were uh, focusing too much on relationships, focusing too much on emotions. What will they think? What do they want? How can I make them happy? I've been a failure. I couldn't do things the way they wanted. Or, or it could be for yourself too. It could be that you were more focused on your emotions. The entire year, for some concerns, I feel it was the entire year, you were just so focused on your emotions. Emotionally, you were drained. Okay? Because you feel, you know, you felt that love is going to make you happy. This particular person is going to make you happy. But your tarot is saying, no, no. Change your plan. Plan B. Focus on your career. Focus on your pentacles. This is the time for pentacles now. This is not the time for love. This is the time for pentacles. Focus on yourself. Work on yourself. Have a plan B. Change your plan. Change your direction. Whatever you've been doing, if that hasn't given you results, then change your direction. You know, look elsewhere. Focus somewhere else. Okay? And... Focus on your luxury. Four of Cups. Focus on your luxury. Don't be bored with life. Okay? Focus on things. This is going to help you. Focus on things you have. Be grateful for the luxury you have. For the things you have. Your phone, your laptop, your house, your lifestyle, your car, your family, whatever you have. First, focus on that. And what you need to let go is this false feeling of happiness. That this person can make you happy or this job can make you happy or this money can make you happy. No, your happiness is not dependent on this love. This happiness is not dependent on, you know, this person in your life. Your happiness is dependent on you being aware of the things that are there in your life. So this is a shift in your focus, a shift in your awareness. Focus, be more grounded. Now what is going to help you is Queen of Pentacles, be grounded. Okay? Be practical, be grounded. Build on what you have. Don't stay in this fantasies. Don't be emotionally, don't fantasize emotionally. Don't think, oh, I'm going to be happy when my knight in shining armor is going to come. I'm going to be happy when they call me. I'm going to be happy when they message me. I'm going to be happy when... It's all about love, right? And you have been in this... You feel like a failure in this love or relationship for the past one week, one month, one year. But you've been feeling this. But what you need to do is... Change your direction. Change your focus. Focus on something else. Focus on your career. Focus on your luxury. First, focus on the things that you have. And be practical. Take help of your practical nature. Pay attention to what you have in hand. And focus on that. Start building from that. And what you need to take your mind off completely are your sorrows. The Three of Swords. Take your mind completely off your sorrows. There's no sorrow. You feel you are sad. You feel you're sad because you were focusing on something that wasn't for you. Not at this point of time. That thing is not for you at this point. You have something else that you need to focus on. Love is not something that you need to be, you should be focusing right now. Right now, you should be focusing more on uh, your career. You should be focusing more on your life, your overall happiness, your abundance. <coughs> and when you do that, 
I'm sorry. That is the maturity that is going to set it. You're going to be matured. Okay? And look at the outcome. The emperor. A person with the right sense to get what he or she wants. So you are going to evolve as an emperor. You're evolving. If you can do that, if you can focus on your career, if you can focus on your money, if you can focus on your general well-being, your abundance, your happiness, for a change, stop making people happy, stop making yourself happy, then as you are going to emerge as the emperor. You're going to be in control. You're going to be the authority of your life. Your emotions are going to be yours and not directed by somebody else. You decide when you want to be happy. You're going to make wise decisions. Okay? So that is when the maturity sets in. No wonder that is why the matured woman is the core of your reading. Cancerians, it's time you mature. You mature towards something better. All right, what a powerful, powerful reading for you. It's time you need to defocus from this and refocus on what is there, okay? So it is like the change of focus. And with the sun showing light on your sign, yes, the focus is coming back. You're going to feel more powerful, empowered, practical, focusing more on your needs. That is what is the need of the hour. Focus on your need. Stop giving love and feeling happy. Stop having that fake or the false uh, feeling of happiness which because of a person. No, the person doesn't make you happy. You make yourself happy. And how do you make yourself happy? By being grateful for what you have instead of focusing on who is not there or what you do not have. Okay? What you're missing out from the world. Every point of time, if you're having three things, then there are three million things you're missing out. Don't feel sad for the things you're missing out. First, be happy with the three things that you have. And then be practical. Work towards achieving the rest three million. Okay, be the emperor. And that is what is coming towards you. You're going to be in your power. You see the sun, the golden sun shining on this person? The sun is shining on cancer. Okay? So, very nice, very nice, Cancerian. So, let's see what oracle advice do we have for you. It's time to take your power back. All right, Cancer. Drop it. Who else got it? I think Gemini got it. So, drop it. Whatever you've been holding on to, the sorrow, this false feeling of happiness, this feeling of love that you had for somebody something, some place, just drop it. Not working for you, okay? And what's the second advice? Just laugh. Let go. Enjoy your life, okay? Enjoy the luxury, okay? Be the Prince of Pentacles. Change your course. So just laugh. Enjoy your life, okay? It's your time. It's your season. Enjoy it. Drop it. Drop whatever shit you have in your life. Whoever has treated you badly, whoever has, has no value of yours in their life, just drop them, okay? Simply drop them. Mature yourself. Mature yourself. Start giving self-love. Don't look for people to bring love to you. Bring love to your life first. Self-love, okay? Once you love yourself, people will see that respect. People will see that love in you will be drawn towards it. You don't have to pull people towards you. People will be drawn towards you. That is how you win people back. So forget them. Drop them. Forget all the negativity. Focus. Focus on the positive things. Focus on your career. Focus on your abundance because that is what is going to make you the emperor. All right, Cancer, let me know what is happening with you in the comments below. And I'll see you around with your love readings tomorrow. Until then, bye.